Well, when we hear about earthquakes striking in California, we often point to the San Andreas Fault. But did you know California actually has two pretty active faults? Meteorologist Rob Coralmark explains. The recent earthquakes in the Sierra are a great reminder of California's other very active earthquake zone. Now, when you think about earthquakes, you're probably thinking about earthquakes along the San Andreas Fault because of the big famous ones in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Now, there is one unique feature of the San Andreas Fault. It goes north to south, but it does make a little turn here near Santa Barbara in what we call the transverse range because they go east-west versus north-south. It's just a little bit, but it builds up an enormous amount of pressure in that one spot. So nature, with a lot of things, tends to find the path of least resistance. And what has been happening geologically over thousands and thousands of years, but again, we were reminded of this very recently, is that there is another earthquake zone that is more north-south and in line with with the southern end of the San Andreas. The junction, by the way, is where we had the big Ridgecrest earthquake. Now, this zone is active, but not as much, and the earthquakes are not as strong. However, the USGS has run the numbers on that zone, and it is also another area with a high likelihood of earthquakes over the next 30 years. Uh, again, here's the San Andreas. That's why all the attention is on that earthquake fault, as it should be. It's through major populated areas. But again, the Sierra is not only very active for earthquakes, it's also very very active, geologically speaking, for something else. This is Lassen Peak less than 100 years ago. Yes, active volcanoes in California have existed and will exist in the future, even though Mammoth, Shasta, and Lassen are dormant now. It's a matter of time before they get active yet once again.